trying to get Tammy to do an intro when she can't stop eating the fruit cake long enough. Oh my gosh. To tell y'all welcome. Let him come over here and look at how pretty it is. Look how pretty that is, y'all. This is delicious. Today, we're making fruit cake, and this is the best one I've ever made. Let's get started. All right, today we are starting our dark fruit cake, and I'm super excited to make this for a lot of people. We're going to start with two cups of butter. And we're going to mix that with brown sugar. And then we're going to mix this until it's nice and fluffy. Boy, me and my daddy love fruitcake. And I got several recipes for fruitcake, but I settled on one that I am altering a little bit for mine and daddy's taste. And I think it's going to be really good. So two cups of brown sugar and two cups of butter. We're going to fluff that up. Now I'm going to add six eggs to the butter and the sugar. Six. Tablespoons of vanilla, three. Now all we have left to do is add our flour. We're gonna put a little bit of grape juice in here and then we're gonna add our nuts and our fruit. And I'm going to use self-rising today um, because a lot of the recipes had all-purpose and then they added baking soda and baking powder. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use the self-rising and let that be it and not add the other stuff. I want to get further away. This is going everywhere. Now, I'm not going to add a lot of spice to this fruit cake. I know a lot of people do. Uh, but I'm going to add apple pie spice because it's got a little bit of everything in it. This is Pansy's apple pie spice, and it's super delicious. And so I'm going to put in two teaspoons of it, and that's going to be all the spice that's in my fruit cake because I want to be able to taste the fruit as well. Two teaspoons of apple pie spice. We are not big on liquor, so my family likes grape juice in their fruit cake. And this is 100% Welch's grape juice, and we're going to use about a half a cup in here. We like grape juice. You can use molasses, a little molasses, and a lick, some liquor mixed together and go in here. Whatever you like. Um, you put it in your fruit cake as far as the liquid goes. Okay, that's our mix. All right, we're going to put a little bit of flour. I'm just going to use a third cup so it'll be in our fruit cake. Um, and I'm going to toss the fruit in it that I'm going to be using. This is a mix. It's got everything in the world in it. It's got lemon peel, orange peel. Uh, citron, cherries, pineapple, everything. So we'll put a little over a cup of that. I'm going to put just a little bit of citron in here, about a quarter cup, a cup of chopped dates, and we're going to put this these cherries that I've chopped up, and they're probably about a half cup. Of cherries. I said a cup of dates. I put a half cup in there, didn't I? Well, let's put another I, cup. I was thinking, is this a cup? Or it's a, a half cup. Okay. So let's put another half cup of dates. You want a cup, a cup of dates, a cup of the mixed fruit, and then once I add the cherries and the citron, that's about another cup. So about three cups of fruit is what's going to go in here. And now we're going to toss this in this flour. And hopefully that'll keep the fruit up inside the cake instead of sinking all to the bottom of the cake. And now we're going to do nuts. We're going to use all pecans. And 
And now we're going to take our mix and put in here. And then we're going to fold it in. If you've never seen anybody use their hands while they're baking, I don't know why, but um, a lot of people frown on, you know, you when you're using your hands when you're cooking. But let me just say this. Everybody uses their hands to uh, make bread, and everybody thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. But if you grab something like this and use your hands, they, they kind of frown upon it. I have no idea why. But if you work at a big bakery and you're making big batches of stuff, you use your hands all the time. And now I'm, I'm going to use my hands to fold this together. So that is our cake batter. And once I get this in here, if I feel like there's not enough fruit in this cake, I'll add some more. But it should be enough. Because fruit cake should be mainly fruit and nuts and not just batter. I think I'll use the dates. I'll use this whole package of dates. Um, it was 10 ounces. Because it's got the sugar on it, and hopefully... Um, it will stay down in the cake good. And then we'll decorate the top of the cake with our whole cherries and some bigger pecans. And so I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to spray the pans. We're going to bake this in. And you start it in a cold oven. Now I have got tins that I'm going to actually bake this cake in that I got at Dollar General. And that way I can just wrap them with the lid on them and give them as gifts this year for Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray them really good with baking spray. Make sure you use baking spray that has the flour in it. All right, we're gonna fill these and then I'm gonna put the topping on top of the cakes to make them pretty. So you're just gonna take part of your mix. And remember, fruit cake is not gonna rise much. It will a little, but not a whole lot. So you want it to be about three quarters full. All right, we're gonna glaze these, but I'm gonna let them cook about an hour, and then we'll brush them with some real good uh, fruit glaze. All right, we're gonna take some orange marmalade and heat it up in this small nonstick skillet. And you need to, whatever you heat yours in, try to use a nonstick uh, because we're gonna use the, the glaze that it makes to glaze our fruit and nuts on our fruit cake. Maybe we'll just pull this out and do it. Because they're still rising in the middle. A lot of our fruit actually fell down in there. I guess I should have put the fruit on it last. Okay, put your fruit in a bowl, uh, large pieces of fruit for the top of the fruit cakes, at least two cups of pecans. You're going to put you some apple jelly in a nonstick skillet and melt it, and then we're going to pour it over here. And that's going to glaze all of this and make it real pretty and shiny for the tops of our fruit cakes. Okay, here's our jelly. We're going to pour it on our fruit. I'm going to save just a little bit because I'm going to do the bigger fruit cake later. And now you're just going to mix it up so that the pecans get shiny and pretty and all the fruit shiny and pretty. And then you can um, put it on top of your fruit cake. Now you're going to want to bake your fruit cake. You're going to want to do this after it's baked. And you think the top is firm enough to lay this on the top. Because if you put this on there first, like I did the first time, it's just going to fall down in your cake. And that looks really good. And I tried brushing it on, and this was so much easier. Any kind of jelly you want, you could use an orange marmalade. Uh, now you're just going to take the fruit and get it on top of the fruit cakes.
and get them back in the oven. I'm putting the lids on my fruit cakes that I'm sending. This one goes to a friend of mine. Super excited. And of course, the longer they sit, the better they're going to be. <laughs> mm. The cons are delicious. It's so buttery. It's really good. I'm going to tell you, this is the best fruit cake I've ever made. I've made it before several times and never had it turn out this good. It's super moist. It's super delicious. And this is going to be my go-to fruit cake recipe from now on. I guarantee you, if you like fruit cake and you make this recipe, you'll never make another one. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.